strokes are a little high on both of you, so I'm not going to call them right on the line. Touch them up. Suerte. Tomate. Junto Nakatani moving up in weight to challenge himself against Alejandro Santiago Tani there at distance. So many times we see tall, long fighters not taking advantage of those assets. Nakatani is doing so. Oh no, he's a he's a master at range. He likes to say consistently, boom, and he puts that left hand right behind him. Lightning quick. Oh, and don't forget about those uppercuts. I, I almost forgot. And so far, Chris, it's been Santiago trying to get inside oh. close distance. Big right hand there lands for Santiago, and another one. Just as we were talking about what he was trying to do, he had success getting on the inside and throwing the right hand. Ready for the left hand, because it comes a second later than you're expecting it to. You know what they say, the punch you don't see is the one that hurts the most, and that's what Nakatani wants to do. He wants to hit you with that punch you don't see. But Santiago's super tough. You're gonna have to catch him with something that he's not aware of. Easy for Nakatani to take a half step back and be able to counter. Big left hand over the top, catches Santiago when he thought he was safe on the way. Flies in the fight against Lunito Donaire, his last fight seven months ago. And it seemed like Santiago had success with that right hand because it was a lead right hand, right? Usually, sometimes you, you set up trying to close distance and find openings on the difficult Junto Nakatani. A smaller guy, you know, you're keeping the distance really well, but you don't want to throw everything coming from the same trajectory. You're changing height, changing levels. Very, very smart, because again, you gotta, you gotta, you know, it's gonna be more than just trying. I mean, he, he, nobody wants to leave their belt. Ooh, good shots there from Nakatani as he backs Santiago up. Ooh, good combinations, letting those hands fly. Oh, in round five, combinations, quickness, movement. Left hands upstairs, seemingly unanswered. Santiago was frozen there for a moment. He wasn't sure where the punches were coming from. Nakatani mixing up these combinations to get inside. Looking to no avail so far here in round. Oh! Huge left hand by Nakatani drops the champion, Alejandro Santiago, in round six. You know, I'd mentioned multiple times he was going to have to hit the champion with a shot that he didn't see or anticipate. Santiago did not see that punch coming. Straight left hand right down the middle. Beautiful shot. Catches him on the point of the chin, put him down. And here comes Junto Ooh. Nakatani, oh. right hand. Down goes Santiago again. This time it was the right hook that caused damage to drop Santiago for the second I time. I think the corner stopped it. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the fight. Junto wow. 